Hi guys, um, this is going to be my video on my many tattoos um, and the meanings behind them. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so this is going to be the order I got them in, so you'll have to bear with me on this, so yeah. Um, so my first tattoo would be this one that I got when my mum passed away, or for my mum when she passed away, and yeah, so this one was my first ever tattoo and I kind of freaked out a little bit when I got it. So, yeah, um, I think my next one, yeah, yeah, my next one is on my hip, which is this one that my friend designed for me, which is my always one, and I love it. Um, the next one I got, um, the meaning behind that one was just because my mum passed away and that she's always in my heart and things like that so yeah that was another one for my mum um next one I got was this one which is a dad and a butterfly I just love the colours on the butterfly because it's so nice um after that one I think I got, yeah, this one. This one, which is my nephew's name and his date of birth and his star sign, which happens to be the same as mine. <laughs> Ironic, I know, but I'm going to get these covered up with flowers because they're quite rubbish anyway. But, yeah, they're my favourites. So. Um, the next one I got is actually on my foot, so you'll have to bear with me. <laughs> um... So it says, things are looking up, and they're actually song lyrics from one of my favourite bands called R5, and so yeah, that was kind of a thing to show that I was like, I will get through it and things will get better basically. Um, I got this one, the other one on my arm, next, and it's one of my more meaningful ones. This was to do with when I used to self-harm and I used to say like I'm not going to be here for the next, I'm not going to be here next week or the next day I'm just going to go. And no one would know about it but I am still here and it's because of this one I'll tell you more about this one in a minute and this one which says say you'll stay and a couple of birds and I got that one because obviously the self-harm thing and um, I think I was six months clean when I got this one so it was a six month clean tattoo um, my next one is on my ribs, so it's another old time old one, which says somewhere in Neverland and it has the Peter Pan silhouettes under it because I am a Disney nerd as well and the skull from the old time low logo, the old old time low logos. Um, so yeah, reason behind that one was basically from my childhood. Because I used to think Peter Pan was coming to get me and I would be whisked off to Neverland and well Peter Pan's always been my favourite Disney film anyway but um, that was the reason for that one because of my childhood I used to pretend or I used to say Peter Pan's coming to get me mum I'll be taken away from this place <laughs> things like that and um, so yeah um, the next one I got was this one on my shoulder. It's not exactly finished yet, but it's 
says, uh, take your breath and let the rest come easy. And it's another all time low lyric that I absolutely love. It's actually from a stripper song. <laughs> But the lyrics spoke to me, so it, it was to do with my panic attacks, like it's helped me through my panic attacks um, and my anxiety, because obviously if you take a breath and keep doing it, the rest will come easy. And then you end up calming down after a while. Um, what else do I have? Last but not least, this one on my arm was my most recent one and it says now don't lose your fight kid it only takes a little push to pull on through now this is from one of the future heart songs by all time low and the song's called missing you and these lyrics were tattooed on my arm because i was one year clean of self-harm now i've slipped up since then but I'm a week and six days, no, not a week, sorry, I think I'm two weeks clean now and I, I slipped up once and I got through it and I'm now two weeks clean now, possibly three, I can't remember, but um, this one is my most meaningful one because it has the mental health um, semicolon so in a sense you could have ended your life but you chose to carry on and um, so this is my most meaningful tattoo to date and when I met um, Alex and the lads I showed them all my tattoo and Jack was like <laughs> he kept saying that he's glad it's not in his writing I was like Jack, even if it was in your handwriting, I would get it tattooed anyway, because you mean that much to me. And then he just hugged me, and like all my panicking and everything went away for that short amount of time. And then, well, he gave me a heart attack first, but yeah, I'm gonna go on that at another date, <laughs> on another video. But um, and then I walked up to Zach and I showed him my tattoo, and he thought it was really cool. And he asked me the meaning behind it, and I I couldn't speak. I was I was just nearly in tears, and he just hugged me, and I still couldn't talk. Um, Zach's more quiet, but he's still so sweet and lovely, and he gives the best hugs. I mean, he's got so much muscle on them arms, like oh my god, I can't even right now. Um, and then I got up to Ryan. And he asked me how I was. I said I was I was on the verge of tears. And then he asked me why. And I just I couldn't talk about it because it it just I guess it made me feel ashamed that I used to self harm. Like I just feel so ashamed that I do resort to that if like I don't have anyone to talk to or if I feel that lonely. I I get all the thoughts back and I just feel ashamed that I go I go to that resort and I just felt so ashamed that I do it and did it and I just feel really bad about it afterwards and it, it might take it away for a little while but it doesn't it's not a permanent solution. So if anyone out there is debating whether to kill themselves, self-harm or whatever, don't do it because it doesn't take it away. It doesn't help. As Alex once said, suicide doesn't end the chances of life getting worse. It eliminates the chances of life getting better. And I do believe that. I mean, I have a friend who goes through the same shit as I do. Sorry, swearing. My bad. Well, she goes through the same thing as I do, maybe worse. But I'm always there for her if she needs me. And she's always there when I need her. 
to give me a pick me up to make me smile and stuff like that and I have such good friends that will keep my spirits high and that will talk me out of it and stuff like that and I, I love all my friends so much for doing this for me I mean I never really had that many friends anyway but the friends I have now I couldn't imagine my life without them and you know who you all are and I love you all to pieces and I wouldn't imagine my life without you guys and I'm probably gonna get emotional in a minute because I'm so like emotional anyway I'm an emotional person anyway but like I I couldn't I I honestly couldn't imagine my life without you guys and I just wanted to say thank you I guess um I have let me think there's Lay Alex from Australia Satu um Joe Emma there's so many people that I love and cherish to absolute pieces Harry and Nem, obviously, because they are my my besties. Well, Harry's my he, well, I call him my Peter Pan. He calls me Tinkerbell. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> but there's so many people that I absolutely adore. Oh, also Haley, who's an absolute diamond. She is just the sweetest person on earth. Love you, Haley. Um. Also, if you haven't like heard of her before, I say go subscribe to Tessa Netting because she is awesome and sending you lots of lumos everybody. Um, so yeah, and then I said I was on Ryan, sorry, and then I got up to Alex and I just crumbled. I I literally crumbled and I just couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't cope that I was standing in front of my absolute hero and I just couldn't, I was literally like, <laughs> I couldn't breathe. And um, so Alex came over, he gave me a hug and then he took my hands in his, told me to look him in the eye, or the eyes, and to copy what he does. So he did a breathing exercise with me. And after about a couple of minutes, I finally calmed down. And he said, like, you don't have to be ashamed that you have anxiety. You don't have to be ashamed. It happens. Um, I know how bad it can get. And just believe that you will come out the other side. And you will get... You will cope better. And that he and then he said that he loved me and that he wants and then he hugged me again one more time and he whispered in my ear that he wanted me to stay strong for him because he loves me and hearing that from someone you really admire and you really you really look up to it just warmed my I'm sorry, I'm crying again. And it just it made me so much better and I guess it made me feel stronger and I know now that all time they believe in me and they love me and that I can get through it and that I can I can beat it and oh god I'm crying oh god I'm sorry guys I get really emotional but like I know now that I can beat it if I keep fighting so I want to say that I am gonna keep fighting it and I'm gonna keep trying my best to do it and I will do it for them, I will do it for me, I will do it for you guys and just know I love you all 
and I hope you enjoyed this video so like and subscribe I'm sorry I cried but I get really emotional over this sort of thing and I will see you in the next video bye